all right hi everyone welcome to the video it has been a long time i made a video so let's get started with another python tutorial and uh, series so in this video we are going to develop a function that will validate the username and the password that means the user whenever you enter a username it will check whether the user uh, the username has a character i mean uh, it has a lower lower uh, is it a lower case it has it should have a lower case an upper case a digit and the length should be greater than or equal to 6 let's try to develop a logic uh, and in this video i'm just going to develop the logic we are going to do an object oriented programming so let's get started so let me just make sure my recording is right now on i'm um, just trying to make sure yep that's on so let's get started so i'm going to define i hope the font size is visible to everyone so let's define authentication and um, it's going to inherit from object all right define in it uh going to take a username and by default it's going to be blank so just just in case if you want to create a blank object so the program won't crash so you can do that so i'm going to say self dot username is equal to username beautiful now first of all we need to check whether the uh, whether the user whatever he has entered is a lower case or not so let's try to write a function for that so the the logic here guys is would be pretty simple i'm going to say any any means is going to look in any of the string so i'm going to say uh going to do simple c dot is is lower right for c in oops self self dot username yep simple let me zoom out a little bit yep so pretty much i said uh i am iterating over that uh, string and i'm checking all of that if it is a lower if it is any of the lower it's going to return true it's going to return a boolean so see how i'm uh, how i'm de developing this logic here so i'm going to say return lower right and similarly i'm going to write two more functions for the upper and digit so you guys have already guessed it correctly so here i have two more function known as upper and uh, digit so beautiful now let me define a function known as authenticate um so i'm going to say define um and this is going to be validate i'll name this function as validate so this function is going to call all the other functions so i'm going to say lower is equal to self dot lower so this will basically check if it is a lower or not so that that's what this will grab then we we are going to define a variable known as upper self 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 dot so i'm going to call the upper function then i define simply a digit self dot this is going to call the digit function I'm going to define a length. So, I'm just going to call len the length function and that would be on the username. Beautiful. Now I'm going to define a report so which is going to be lower and upper. So basically it's going to check if it is lower case, if it is an upper case, if any of the character has an upper case and if it has a digit rather than using a regular expression people i don't know why they are using regular expression and making this complicated and i'm going to say if the length is greater than and if the length oops length is greater than equal to 6 uh yep so the pa the username should be greater than equal to 6 and this is going to do that validation for us and after that i'm just going to say a simple um i'm going to say an if if statement Uh, pretty easy you know so i'm just going to do it pretty quickly if report that means if this is this condition is true so so we want the user to know that yep your username is strong your username is username whatever username or i can oops sorry for that username passed all checks and simply return return true that means this condition is true 
right if not then we need to tell the user what failed i mean you did not use you, you did not use a lower case upper case or digit we need to tell the user so how am i supposed to do that so let's try to develop that logic so i'm going to say else if uh, make sure the spacings are correctly um, done so i'm going to say if else if not of lower that means if it is not lower that means of course you did not enter the lower right so i got to tell him hey uh please use at least one lower case character beautiful and similarly we are going to do that for the upper and the digit and the length so let me just try to post it up real quick uh oops so i'm just going to copy the logic i'm a little bit tray <laughs> so let's copy the logic i have already wrote the code it's just similarly the same thing here you can see and we need to do a small stuff here uh, by default we can say else wow, right just going to say pass all right so our object oriented code is ready so uh, we just got to say validate and let me make all of these as a private variable private function so that the user cannot access any of these uh, methods so this is this can be only be accessible now inside the function because i'm trying to make it private right now so yep so now let's try to use it uh, let's try to use this and see if that works so i'm going to say c dot authentication all right i'm going to pass in the username Uh, just gonna zoom a little bit so you can see it properly. Let's say uh, um, Y as in capital YouTube 1995. Of course, this has to satisfy all the cat cat uh, criteria. So C dot. Uh, we have a method known as validate. Remember, you know. So let's see what it does. So trying to run this. username passed all the checks here you can see now let me show you if i just choose all the lower case it's going to say hey you got to use one upper case you did not use an upper case character so if i use one upper case let's try to run this you did not use digits so let's try to use digits and let's make the length less than 6 username should be at least 6 uh, characters so it is returning again false so now if i do it passed all checks so that's it for this video the code is there in the description section below uh, so this is an object oriented programming how you do it so uh, so we we developed a construct a basic constructor these are the methods these methods are pri uh, private because i don't want my uh, the public to access these methods so and this is the validate method is a public so the people can access it outside the function So that's it for this video. The code is there in the description section below. It's also there on my GitHub account. Make sure to uh, download the code, play with it, and make sure to update it if you feel like something is missing. Please make sure uh, to add uh, add to this code, and also let me know. Educate me as well because I'm not uh, that good of a programmer. But yes, of course, I'm always learning from uh, the community. Uh, and thank you so much. We have reached 2,000 likes uh, on my YouTube channel. Thank you for the love support. I'm really very I mean I'm really very thankful to you guys um, I'll try my best to create best contents for you so that's it for this video if you have anything please let me know if you have if you want specific any video please let me know by doing that in the comment section below thank you for now and I'm going to end the video right here